Hi, this is Mary Ellen with Portraits of Me, and today I'm coming to you with a small haul video. I know I haven't done any videos in a while, and if you saw my last video, you know it's because I've been sick. And I really do want to do my middle grade March wrap up, but I thought I would test my voice and recording by doing a small haul instead, because hopefully I won't be talking as much. And I probably won't be as hyped up and excited to talk about these books as the books that I read for middle grade March, which I absolutely loved all the books I read. So this is like a test video to see how well I do talking about books for a short amount of time. And if I do good in this video, I will definitely record my middle grade March wrap up soon. So stay tuned for that. But for now, I am going to talk about some books that I recently purchased at a secondhand store in my community. And so I am a little bit more prepared this time because I did purchase a nice yummy tea from Starbucks. So if I start to feel a little tingle in my throat, I'll definitely take a sip of this nice refreshing tea. I sound a lot better, so I'm hoping that I can talk a lot more without irritating my throat because I still have that lingering cough. For some reason, that cough does not want to let me go. So anyway, let's get to the haul and I'm going to show you some books that I recently purchased. So in my community, we have a local Goodwill that I like to visit periodically because they have such a great assortment of books in this Goodwill. There's like a whole wall full. I'm going to link my video vlog that I did shopping at that Goodwill and you can see how many bookshelves they do have. So since they do have a lot of books and they cycle through them pretty quickly, when I go I always seem to find something interesting that I would like to read. So on this trip I found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books. I found nine books on this trip and I'm going to share those nine with you right now. So the first one that I picked up, I don't know why I'm saying the first one I picked up. This probably wasn't the first one I found on the shelves, but it's the first one I'm going to show you. And that book is Ice Dogs by Terry Lynn Johnson. This book sounds good because it's about a young girl and a survival scenario. And of course, I love dogs. So it'll be an interesting book to read. So that's one of the books I purchased. And then on the opposite spectrum of dogs, I purchased this book right here. And this one is called Whittington and it's by Ellen Armstrong. And this is about a cat. Well, I'm guessing it's about a cat because there's a cat on the cover. I am not a big cat fan, but I do love to read stories about animals. So this one right here is about um, Bernie keeps a barn full of animals the rest of the world has no use for. Two retired sulky horses, and it just goes over a list of animals that he has. I think the animals, the story's going to talk through the animals' perspectives. So it's not really like a life or death kind of story, it says back here, but it's more about the everyday life of these animals that live in Barney's, Bernie's barn. So that's this right here. And probably the cat is a major character because he's made it to the cover. Then my husband found this interesting book and he handed it to me and said that I might enjoy it, which is weird because I wouldn't have gravitated towards this book because I really don't like the cover. Sorry for the glare. Is that better? Because I really don't like the cover. <laughs> I like the colors because I love that that summer color theme, but I don't know. The cover isn't very engaging to me, but my husband thought I would find this interesting. And then when I read what the book was about, it did sound interesting. And so I got this book and then we found the second book and we also found the third book in this series. And so I purchased all three of them. Now, these two hardback books are both books owned by a girl named Brooke because her name is in this book. And then this book is actually signed to her from the author. It says, hi Brooke, happy birthday. And then it has the author's signature. 
So I thought that was pretty neat. This is going to be a nice addition, signed addition to my collection of books, even though I'm not Brooke. It would have been cool if my name was Brooke and it matched up. Wouldn't that be awesome? However, I don't see or hear of many Mary Ellens out there. So if you're a Mary Ellen, let me know. It'd be exciting to see someone else with my name. Okay, back to the book. So this book right here is the first book, I believe. Oh, this is book three. Okay, hold on. Okay, so this is the first book in the series. This is the second book in the series. And then this is the third book in the series. And I decided that if I like the series, I'm going to take that soft covered book and just replace it with the hardcover book. And then I'll have all matching editions of the series. But this book right here, Fable Haven by Brandon Mole, is about, for centuries, mystical creatures of all descriptions were gathered in a hidden refuge called Fable Haven to prevent their extinction. The sanctuary survives today as one of the last strongholds of true magic in a cynical world. Enchanting? Absolutely. Exciting? You bet. Safe? Well, actually, quite the opposite. Kendra and her brother, Seth, have no idea their grandfather is the current caretaker of Fablehaven. Inside the gated woods, ancient laws give relative order among greedy trolls, mischievous satires, plotting witches, spiteful imps, and jealous fairies. However, when the rules get broken, an arcane evil is unleashed, forcing Kendra and Seth to face the greatest challenge of their lives to save her family Fable Haven, and perhaps the world. Kendra must find the courage to do what she fears most. So that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? So even though initially I didn't think I was going to like this book when my husband handed it to me after reading that, it sounds like a book I would absolutely love. Plus, I checked it on Goodreads, and it looks like the rating is pretty good on Goodreads. So that is a very good encouragement that I might enjoy this book because I love mythology. So that's the first book. I'm not going to tell you what this third book or the second book is about because I don't want to be spoiled or give you spoilers. So those are three more books I got at my local Goodwill. Okay, now these two books that I found, I actually have one of them already in a hardcover. And I found both of these in paperback. And I thought, well, maybe I should collect them in paperback then because now I found two versus the one that I have. So I purchased both because I'm not sure if I'm going to continue buying the series in paperback or hardcover. So we'll see. That's a mystery yet to be solved. But the two books are these two books right here. They are the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and Hollow City, the second novel to the series. So these ones I don't know much about. I am wanting to go into these stories kind of blind. I know it's about a boy who discovers the school and there's these children in them. As you can see, this one's floating. They have some kind of abilities or else they're ghosts. I'm not exactly sure. I kind of want to dive into this without really knowing because I think that's part of the fun in discovering of the school. So anyways, I got the first two soft cover novels from my local Goodwill. And they're in such good condition too. So that's very exciting. And then another book that I got is this one right here, The Versions of Us. This one just looked very interesting because it's about these two people and the various ways their lives could have worked out depending on actions that they took. Did they, when they first met, did they converse and meet and then fall in love and get married? Or did they converse and then separate and leave two separate lives? This is a very interesting story. I believe it's going to be interesting because it's going to give you several stories of what could have happened to these two people. Do they end up together or don't they end up together? So it could be well done or it can be kind of one of the stories that's a flop. So I'm hoping this is a well done narrative of these two people and I hope they fall in love and live happily ever after but will they I don't know okay so that's this book right here that's enough talking about that and as you can tell my voice is doing good I haven't even had a sip of my tea 
and I'm on my last book. So this one I saved for last because I don't know about you guys, but this is like a book in a series that I was collecting for a while and then I stopped collecting them. And when I saw this one at the Goodwill, I figured, well, I should add this one to my collection. And those are these little history books. This one is Dear America, Standing in the Light. And the cool thing about this is each book is from a different era and a different person's life. So you're getting historical fiction about, let's say, um, slavery or the Civil War or um, this one is The Captive Diary of Catherine Carey Logan. And, it, and it's neat because they also tell you where this event happened. This happened in Delaware Valley, Pennsylvania in 1763. I believe she was captive. She became a captive to this Indian and she's writing about her captivity. So these books are really interesting. I have actually quite a few of them. Not too many. I think I have maybe around 10 because or maybe more than 10. I don't know. I have a few of them and I'm adding this one to my collection and I am curious if you guys collect these as well because if you like history and learning about different parts of America, these are some really interesting short uh, middle grade-ish books that you could read. They also have, well these are from the Dear America series, but they also have some that are like a worldwide series where you can learn about Egypt and Rome and things like that. So very interesting series. I'm happy I found this one and maybe I'll read this for next year's middle grade March. So that's it. Those are all the books that I found at my local Goodwill. I am excited to read all of these and I will list them all on Goodreads, so make sure you follow me there. I'm keeping track of all the books I purchased for 2019, just to see what my spending habits are and how many books that I accumulate throughout the year. So I'll put that information in the description box below. And if you would like to become friends with me on Goodreads, I would be most excited to become your friend there. And that's it, you guys. I did well, I'm excited. I think I'm gonna start doing videos again. Yay! I hope you're excited as I am because I really missed doing videos, you guys. It's funny because all the time that I was sick and things happened, like I went shopping for books or I went to a book fair or I did this or I did that, I was thinking, man, I need, I need to do a video and share this experience with all my friends on BookTube. And I felt the pressure of all these video ideas that I wanted to do but just could not do them because of my health. So I am so excited that I'm feeling a lot better and that I am back. So I am planning to go back on my normal schedule of doing one video per week. I might even do a couple a week just to catch up on all the hauls and events that I went to during the month of March and April that I couldn't record. So stay tuned for those videos. So thank you all for watching this video. If you have hauled any recent books, I would love to hear about those in the comments below. Or if you've read any of these books that I have hauled, I would love to hear your thoughts about them as well. Maybe suggestions on what I should read first would be greatly appreciated. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. And like always, may you have a great morning, day, evening, or night, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!